Mm. Hey, we'll take it. Yo, shout out to my mother-in-law. Hold on, let me give her some hand claps because she a real one. She gave me a golden camera because I'm better than you niggas out there. My podcast is doing what it's supposed to do. Podcast booming. Look, and if we're going to keep it real, um, I've seen y'all comments. And y'all had me scared last week. I think it's important to let people know when you scared. Absolutely. So I was scared last week because I was talking a lot of trash. <laughs> and we came in here and Mike, you know, one thing about Mike, when I mess up, Mike don't ever say nothing. No, nah, man. We, Which I got to we, respect. We're we in the struggle together. Because I wasted a good 45, 50 minutes of Mike's time. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get this part right. And I was sweating in here, yo. That's why I was wiping my forehead last time. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I was glistening because I was scared, man. The audio was jacked up. The video always going to be right. But hey, we are here. Um, Mike has already let me know. This is behind the scenes. This is the fourth wall, right? Mike has already let me know. He don't care about the first topic, which is that Kim K's lookalike has died. Now, most men that's listening to this, y'all don't give a damn. The ladies, y'all really don't care because women don't like Kim K. Black women, that is. Yeah, they don't want to say it because then they uh, keep my narrative of women don't like women. <laughs> but um, let me tell you why this is funny. This woman has, she has the biggest boobs ever. Like nasty. And she too small, right? But she did kind of look like Kim. The reason why it threw me off is her family has started a GoFundMe of 40 grand to pay for her funeral. So who's paying for all the surgeries? Hold on. <laughs> It, it, what was that, Mike? Who was paying for all the surgery? And she had her OnlyFans. So here's my problems. Sex workers are no longer allowed to have GoFundMe's. That's what I really wanted to say. <laughs> I don't think it's fair. Now, honestly, I take that back. Like, real sex workers, y'all y'all can do your I thing. Know, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But this whole, like, fake sex work, and then you got money to go get your tits done, they need the your unionized. butt done. Yeah, they not even unionized. Like, they just need health insurance. They need, uh, like, yeah, like some sort of <laughs> confederation of... Sorts. Sex, <laughs> like they all work together and get in and get insurance. Okay. Yeah, it's it, hey, look, it is a job. It's the oldest profession. We gotta respect it. Absolutely. You know, like hey, like children of Israel wouldn't been able to pull down the walls of Jericho without a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So like that, that's yeah. real. Ray had the harlot, right? What do you think a harlot is? It's a hoe. The thing is, and she lied. She still was saved. So like that, that look, there is some, ah, uh, there's some majesty to the art of sex work. Yeah. So yeah, so I, I, I that's why I look. I respect it. I respect. I am the hustle. I, I respect. This does not mean that I have to like marry you and marry you and have uh, babies with you. But I respect. I respect the hustle, man. Um, why wouldn't you marry a sex worker? Uh, because I, you know, I think parabonding is a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think after so so many times, <laughs> you know, you just it just don't mean the same anymore. Look, man. the reason why I would never marry a sex worker. Because I don't want you to have to choose between me and your job. <laughs> That's all you got to say, dog. Like, I don't want you to have to quit what you oh, love to do. That is such a, I don't want you to quit what you love to do. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Like, they be like, oh, I don't like doing this. Like, no, they do like it. If they you go do. on Reddit, they like that shit. Yeah, they kicked me out of the Reddit sex worker group. I am not lying to y'all. Um, <laughs> what the hell you posted, man? Come you on, ain't man. supposed to respond, dude. You're supposed to screenshot um, and share. <laughs> to be fair. I invaded a spot. I was acting like a sex worker, but I was, let me tell you what gave it away. I was acting like a photographer. A girl didn't understand how her photographer owned her photos. Yeah. And I, I broke it See, down. See, you shouldn't have said anything, bro. See, you, you gave up your cover trying to be right. Quick as shit. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you, look, in your marriages, stop trying to be right. All right? Because you will blow your cover. All right? Look, Mike, I gave her details. I gave her law. And now you know got kicked out of the sex worker group. They kicked me group. out of the group. Um, I like, pretend to be a sex worker. I'll go join the group. Look, much like Cameron. Cameron is going through something right now where he's getting sued by a photographer. And it I, is a little bit crazy that somebody owns your image. It seems like it should at least be a joint venture. Like, at least 50-50. <laughs> I can get with the 50-50 or... Like, photographer get half and I get half. It's like it's my Or you know what me. it is? Neither one of us can sell it or make money off of it without the other person's permission or a payment or something. It's yeah, almost yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah. It's I almost mean, like royalties, right? Yeah. But I mean, it. I get it, but at the same time, like, you know, the only thing, I felt bad for Cameron, not really, because I'm a photographer, but <laughs> when I figured out the girl had been writing Cameron for years and asking him to stop selling it, and he said, basically, like, F off. Yeah, I mean, like. now I got to sue you. Yeah, bro. exactly. Like, I mean, you kind of do that to you, especially if somebody reached out, but, you know. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Dad tip of the week, who you want to sponsor this? Because I couldn't find nobody. 
Hey, man, always going to be Rookie King. Cool. Always going to be our homeboy, you know, sponsoring us. Hey, Jeremiah, come back on here so I can cuss you out. Shoot, uh, hey, it stays by Walker. I mean, she could do it because we're trying to get her to sponsor the live. Mike, so be clip named. that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, we took you out. Um, hey, everybody, ever you can have more than one sponsor? Nah, F that. Yeah, you don't hear it. Well, I guess on ESPN. But take your neck. Break. He said he wanted to come on. He might have been patronizing us a little bit. Nah, he Your wife's he a client. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> want to keep making her money because I'm, I'm done paying for it. Um, but dad tip of the week, keep taking pictures of your kids, yo. I, I say that, and I'm going to keep saying it as a photographer, as the golden photographer. That's what you're going to start calling me. Once this take off, I'm going to really be like Joe Budden and Charlamagne when they take off. I'm going to be talking so much shit. Um, but, yeah, yeah, Mike going to have to quit on me because I'm going to be talking Man, I ain't going to quit. We're going to make it, and then I'm just going to record from overseas. There we go. Uh, but take pictures. There's this website called Blurb, B-L-U-R-B. Look them up. You can actually make a magazine. And I think it's super cool. Um, I'm encouraging everybody to keep taking pictures of your kids. And at the end of the year, take all the pictures you've taken, pick out, you know, 30 pictures that you love, put them in a magazine. And when, you know, when they turn 18, you have a stack of these magazines of them every year of their life that you could just give to them. And I think it's super dope. So that, please. Is, that is pretty cool. I mean, like take pictures in general. I was thinking of like, like so I have like the way my mind works, I always look forward to like the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. So I really don't have a lot of time to appreciate the past. And one of the things that I do like is that when I go through my pictures, you remember moments that you've forgotten about. Well, if you like me, some, some people might be nostalgic and you guys can always think back. But I love when you go back and you see like, man, when they were this size, like uh, I, I, I was, I'm trying to clean out of my photos because I got way too many pictures. Yeah. And, then, and I was just going back and I was just like seeing like, you no know, pictures on the day that he was born. Right. And then yeah. just remembering that day. Um, it's craziness, man. Like it's yeah. Take pictures. How many times you got peed on when he was a baby? I thought you were going to some Carisha. No, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I don't know. I mean like look, I, look. I changed my siblings growing up, oh, so okay. I I kind of understand what's coming. I forgot and, you were saying. And, and when yeah, I, I'm old, man. I'm old. Like, <laughs> I'll be throwing shots. At there's me. a reason why I waited so long to have a kid. It's like yo, I already been there and done that. Look, man. Um, I want to welcome everybody to the Black Dads Club. We are grateful. We are thankful. Um, Y'all, first of all, the people that DM us, the people that let us know, I was talking shit about, I wish I had a bleep button, so, but you know who we was talking about before. <laughs> and I was telling Rena, I said, uh, <laughs> y'all think I go hard on here? Y'all should hear my ass at home. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was having like a full Diddy meltdown moment when I was telling how high these niggas ain't me. <laughs> and ain't us, right? What so, at the end of your diatribe? What did your wife say? She, she was like, "Yeah, you're right, baby." She, you know what she like to do? She in corporate, <laughs> so I can't say what she do. She just look at me. She push up her glasses and goes, "It's okay." And I'm like, "Nah, f these dudes, because they be really pissing me off." Laws here. Once I come, all right. So here's my thing. I fuss at home. Then I come in here. Laws get dumped on. And then when you come in, I just be like, oh, I got to shoot at Mike because he be shaking their hands and shit. And Mike ain't never met any of these people. <laughs> um, but that's just, you know, what it is. So anywho, um, I was telling her, like, how these people, I, I love our listeners because when I'm out, bruh, they let me, not only do they let me know I listen, they let me know where they listening at, yeah. what they listening to. I didn't like this conversation. Y'all got this wrong. Yeah, actually, I agree with y'all. And I, I love that because I don't believe I don't know if these other pods get that. And I hope they do, because I think if we all grow, we all grow. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the PC thing I post to say. <laughs> um, but it is fun when I come out and, you know, shout out to Baraka. Shout out to Mimi as well. Those two especially. Yes. Like they always circle back and be like, yo, this is that y'all doing it. Y'all keep it going. And um, I'm super grateful for all of our listeners. Now, if you're listening to this. It is official go time. That means if you go on um, Eventbrite, our live show tickets are available. It is free, but we only got 50 seats. Now, y'all sell this out too quick. We're going to have to move venues to do it bigger. <laughs> but let me tell y'all what's going down. So at 2 o'clock, I will be doing uh, 50 photo shoots for 50 dads. Um, there will be quick sessions. It will be 10-minute slots. You come in. You get your picture taken. Um, they will be available the next day for you to view. Um, probably not because I'll probably be drunk by the end of the night. So let me stop lying. Um, but Within over, 24 to 48 hours. between Up to 72 hours. Up to 72 hours. <laughs> you will have your pictures back. You'll be able to, um, you know, share them, download them, whatever the case may be. And that is my gift to you for 
uh, Father's Day, we will be giving out gift bags to people, um, to those dads, excuse me. Um, and it has some stuff from vendors who rock with us, some stuff that we have for you. And honestly, man, we just want everybody to come in and get their picture taken that would like it. Afterwards, at around 3.30, we will start our live show. Ladies, y'all are actually invited to that. Everybody, yeah. Y'all can come to the photos, but yeah. I ain't taking pictures of no woman. Yeah, there we go. There it's, we, it's for the fathers. It's for the dads. Y'all have invaded everything else. Please let us get this photo <laughs> off. Um, look, bring you a drink. If you have a dish that you want, bring it. But we're going you, you know, to have light back bites. We're going to have drinks here. Um, we Stop asking us what we're going to talk about. We have no clue. Mike has no clue. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike I, is going to come up with the outline. I have no clue. Yeah, we do the outline. Yeah, real talk, we, we record this pod. Like we Jay Z, like real talk, we yeah. are the goats. Like this pod do need to do numbers, yeah. Because we come in, we drop what we gonna talk about, we do it in one take, yeah. Finish it, record, boom, I love, out. I love when people be like, "Yo, so what type of editing y'all do?" I'm like, "Uh, we push start and we hit stop. <laughs> like that's it." And yeah, it like real, right, real talk, man. Like me and Gavin, we just had that chemistry since day one, which is crazy because me and Gavin are very dissimilar from one Absolutely. another. <laughs> so it's I'm crazy. the nice one. <laughs> I'm the nice one. You listen to this dude every week, <laughs> and you hear what he say about everybody else. Look. Hey, shout out to a couple of our new subscribers, man. Y'all, y'all did oh, something on, that actually on. made me smile last week. Just we sitting here talking about listeners. Nia, appreciate you finding us on YouTube. YouTube, stop hating on the freaking algorithm. Y'all Thanks. are y'all are ass for that. Y'all but are. um, Nia comment was well, so happy I found this podcast. So sad YouTube just started recommending. Mm. A fire charlatan podcast. Hey, shout out to the four. Please drop, please drop again soon. That was dope. Here you go. Uh, hey, Naeem, he said, this is a great podcast. Uh, he was like, oh, new to the pod, but enjoying it a lot. Trying to go back to the beginning to get caught up. Uh-uh, don't do that, bro. <laughs> well, he talked about, about the beginning on YouTube. Oh, I about to say. We, we're pretty good on YouTube. Me and Mike are serious about the first 50 gone. Oh, they deleted. As soon as we get to 100, first 50 out. Yeah, yeah. So you got, if y'all want to hear it, like, go listen to, to you it You want to hear growth in a podcast? This, yeah, it's going to be gone soon. We <laughs> are about to be an overnight success. Absolutely. <laughs> y'all going to look back and be like, damn, they came out of nowhere. They came out of nowhere. Look, yeah, nowhere. That's how we, look, so June 10th, we hope to see y'all at 2 o'clock. If you are a vendor and you want to throw something to give back, Please let, reach out to us. Let us know. We have no problem. We'll put it in there. We are asking that you at least give us a flyer or a business card so we can put it in there so we can recommend you to our our people, man, because we love y'all. Um, all right. Enough oh, of you that. forgot. Next Uh-oh. Friday, we're actually hosting. Hold on. Oh, I got to talk to you about that. She needs. She wants to move it. Okay. She wants to move it. Sorry. We are going <laughs> to shout out to Alpha uh, Male Nail Care. We are going to be doing an event with them, Um, but she wants to plan it, plan it, and okay. make it a big event. But- Yes, that is coming. All right, well, that is coming. Maybe not next Friday. Yeah, Apologies. and if you want us to, us to host your event, let us know. We'll get our agent to talk to you, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll send our fees over. Don't be playing. All right, you ready to get this shit started? Man, let's get into the show. Apologies for everybody. Oh, all right. I hate when y'all send stuff. I hate when y'all lie on the internet, but we got to do this. Um, My roommate gets violent quick. He already busted my lip over something and constantly just hits me if I don't know. If I don't do as he says, he started effing my girl last week and I don't know what to do because I know if I say something, he'll just beat my ass. I want this semester to end. And this is a graduate from Hampton. Man. Um, I have to throw that out there just so Howard can be like, yo, we the real HU. Now, <laughs> these dudes are weird. And this is what we're going to start at today. This is this is a little weird. Um, have you ever been in this situation? I love saying have stupid I shit been, to Mike. <laughs> I did a, did a dude that's blanking my girl. And, and I just let him. No, I'm not, I'm not a cuck, man. <laughs> like, so, and look, to all the cucks and stags out there, that's the thing. It's not my thing. Um, but he wanted the semester to end. But this is the thing, though. He posted it on the internet, which means that there's a there's a form of self-humiliation. He into that. That, he, that he's getting into. And it's like. Dwayne Wade, like. <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's not my thing. Um, either way, like, do boinking your girl and beating you, like, do you believe this story? I actually kind of do. You know, HBCU confessions are it. It is wild. It is. Like, wild. It is wild. Like, especially the Florida A and I, I don't know what the hell's going on with the, with the state of nasty. Florida. Yeah, I don't West know. Florida. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in Florida. So no, I mean, I like, I, I can see this though. Look, when I was in college. I can't tell that story. 
Oh, uh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, like long story short, it, this this wasn't even me. It was like it's like one of my homeboys. That's like, what you supposed to say. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like at the, he was like <laughs> he was <laughs> go ahead. Mike. He was with the chick, right? And her boyfriend was outside knocking on the door, right? Damn. And then they and they still ended up together. Like that does happen in college. You know, mm. it's a good point, right? A cook's born or made. Like I wonder, like, are, are you born into it or do you get beat into submission over? I it? think you get beat into submission. I think you got an interest and then it happens and you just like, yo, this is me. But that's but see, mm. come on. But I think I think part of it too is men like shooting out of their weight class, right? Yeah. I, like, okay. So, because I didn't even see you this clip, right? I was watching a clip <laughs> from um um another pod, Poor Minds. Okay. And Shout one, out to them. They come it, to Charlotte. Yeah. And one of the dudes was just like, uh, what? Well, gosh, how did he say it? He was just like, I, I'm not, I'm not the type of guy that you know. I just want to be the fun guy. Oh, she she stated that she hated she hate when men say they the prize. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that clip? I saw that. Clip, and then the, yes. and then the dude is like. You know, well, yeah, I don't want to be the prize. And like, like real talk, I'm like, yo, I wonder if dude like tightened up in the gym, tightened up his diet, made more money. Like, would he feel that way, right? Well, that part, and then I also and some know, rich men still do, right? Because we just said allegedly, you know, my my former Heat player, yeah, right, is into that. And he has all that, right? He's yeah. damn sure in shape. He's yep. damn sure rich. Look good, and it, and, and it still looks like he's into it. So he, it's no, like he is into it. <laughs> Allegedly. And nothing wrong with it. We don't kink shame. No, we don't kink shame. But when your girl come up behind you, she blowing your ear during the interview, slap you, like, yo, you got to do better than, you know, every chance she gets, she, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm into not that. I, I, I'm i the type of dude where I need a woman that's more of a help me. I, I don't need a woman mm. that's a uh, overseer. That's me. Mm. That doesn't have to be every guy, though. I'm not, nah. I'm not every guy. Like, the type of guy that I am, I'm the guy that shows up when everything's going bad. That's me, right? Some of y'all don't, y'all don't have, everybody don't have to be that guy. We don't need a hundred of me's. Facts. One of me in the room is most of the time more than enough. Shout out to me and Laws <laughs> who have to deal with that. <laughs> um, and, and then, so, all right. So you, in a place where you don't think men can get weirder, <laughs> weirder, excuse me. Weirder. We get my mans who says, yo, sexual discipline is a man being, is, excuse me. Sexual discipline is a man having a beautiful woman in his life who would do anything and everything for him. And that man respectfully declining because he knows they aren't attached to his mission. I don't know what he was trying to say. I don't I either. I don't believe none of this shit. I so, hate when men just lie on the internet, bro. All it's right, so, so here's the thing, right? So that clip was right next to the other clip that you're going to play, right? So mm -hmm. sexual discipline is a man having a beautiful woman in his life that'll do anything for her. So she is beautiful, and she's willing to do anything for you. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that you're going to say, nah, I'm going to decline because you're not attached to my mission, right? Now, we we just heard what he said. Do you got you got a clip cue for oh. what, for, for what my man said? Come on, man, I stay ready. I don't get ready. All right, come on. Might be trying me. I don't like that shit. Oh shit. She said something that really scared me. You're gonna have to tell me when to stop. I don't really know what the line is. And when she said that, in my mind, I thought, as fine as you are, I'm gonna mm. break up with you. And a week later, I broke up with her. And she was devastated. Here my favorite but here's part. what I knew. Trigger alert. Warning for anybody listening. As a believer in Jesus. <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> but if you don't know where the line is, and you're telling me to hold you accountable, the line is after I do. Mm. And I don't trust myself enough to put myself in a position with a beautiful woman. And she's saying, where, where, however far you go, I go. The way my Jesus... Y'all be capped. Y'all be so... I, I'm... So I'm how you talking about nothing and Jesus in the same sentences beyond it, me? It, it, it is such I'm Look, I am so... So y'all know it's two type of dudes that I don't like. We talked about this before. The okay. Pod. I cannot stand bands, bitch ass, N-words. Okay. And I cannot stand a simp. You can't. Like, like those, those two things, right? So these men are equivocating sexual discipline uh -huh. with their lack of discipline. Right. Thanks. That, that's not what sexual discipline is, right? The, you guys are the same dudes who say, you know, well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not violent, but you're incapable of violent. You're mm. right. You're not violent. You're harmless. <laughs> <laughs> and you're out here in these streets when it comes to women, and you're like, you, you got, you, so there's a beautiful woman. And the one, so the second guy's like, yo, there's a beautiful woman. She tells me I can do anything I want to her. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, I can't handle that. Yeah. <laughs> so so what you're saying is you needed her to tell you like, hey, 
I'm going to date you, and I'm going to tell you, hey, make sure you wear a condom. Make sure you pull out. Make sure you know when I'm ovulating, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of you being the man and saying, like, oh, um, dude, imagine this. Most beautiful woman you ever ran into. Okay. And she says, hey, you can do whatever you want to me. Oh, man. You oh. can do whatever you you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right. right. All right, Kareem. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Good <laughs> <Yeah>. job. <laughs> let's go back to let's, and let's go back to the second the sexual discipline tweet, right? Uh-huh. She's doing everything that you want her to do. She's doing all your house chores. She's looking at your, your calendar saying, hey, babe, don't forget you got X, Y, and Z to do for the next three days, right? She's doing all these things and she's beautiful, right? Okay. And, yeah. and, and, and dude's response is, nah. Nah, I can't even handle that. The fr- <laughs> what I want to do is just nut up in you when you ovulating. Look, right? Not that I want to marry you, not that mm. I want to commit to you, not that I want to elevate you, not that I want, I want you to have the discipline to tell me no. You know, the funny part Weak. is I, I I hate liars. And me and Laws was just talking about this. If y'all don't know, Laws is a photographer who be in the studio when we're recording. Laws is, <laughs> yes, Laws is in the studio. He's the other. <laughs> but Gavin might, mics are so good that you can't hear him whenever yeah, you say anything. Because <laughs> you got to be in the mic. <laughs> so the joke is me and Laws are just talking about how you come across people that just lie. Yes. And so I'm looking at this video. And bruh, I don't believe a word you say. No, I don't think you had a ten. I, I, oh, oh my gosh, I don't think you had a ten. I don't, I don't, because outside and, of my wife, I've seen two tens before in my life. Dude, I, I, I had, a, I had a good solid. I'm gonna tell, you, I'm gonna tell you how perfect this girl. And one was, was in Brazil. <laughs> she was fine. Hey, <laughs> let's stop right here, or you get in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, to all my cousins that listen, skip that part. Don't send that to the family yeah, don't chat. Send it to nobody. Dude, this girl was so, this girl was so much of a ten. Yeah, you know, because you know how you look at somebody and you're like, what's wrong with them? Yeah. Dude, let me see. Would you like to hear what I found that was wrong with her? Absolutely. Her belly button. Oh, that was she it. Had an no, it wasn't even that. So, you oh. know, so most belly buttons are either round or um, uh, vertical. Yeah, yeah. Hers was horizontal. <laughs> that's, how per- d- d- that's how perfect her body was, that that's what stood out. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with her belly button? There was nothing really wrong with it. It's yeah. just that that's how beautiful. I was just like, bruh. And so and y'all fold for tens, man. Fuck out of here. Y'all really do. I don't have no discipline. I don't have, bruh. I, I'm on my mission. And stop throwing Jesus and stuff. When for y'all real, leave, leave, yes, leave God alone with your foolishness. Because y'all be playing. And then I always told, I told laws this also. People always fall when they not genuine, dog. And y'all be over here, y'all fake pastors. You setting yourself up, man. Y'all, y'all, yes. Look, y'all great, man. Y'all be out here. Y'all be doing a couple of videos. And he online. done blew up. So you, he, he he will mess around and run across a real 10. And now you got to defend that shit that you just said. And here's the other thing. And he's married, too. This my problem. Y'all do this because you want other women to come around as just as bad, like Mike said, the yeah. teens, and you want them to come up to you, and now you got to show how much of a macho man you are. And you can't handle it. And hey, dude, how many times we have seen dudes that that pretend that they do, they're these great dudes, and then it's Derek. always some baddie that done took them down. Derek. Like, she, yo. She a baddie, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Derek but, Jackson. But she, she was a baddie for him. Yeah. Like, you know, because he ain't never really had that, he, and he taught all this mess, and then when time came, like, boom. He got got like, look, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. like, dude, it is hard to be a disciplined man. But it, but if but if your level of discipline is this extreme, you know, quote unquote abstinence, it's not. It doesn't happen. Yeah. But if you're trying to say, like, oh, I just like I won't even date a one. I want dude, a beautiful woman does everything for you and she want to be with you and she want to make your life better. And you like I'm, I'm on my purpose. I'm going to leave her alone. Bro, if you was in your purpose, you marry her. Ooh, bars. Yeah. Oh, you're a rapper. Um, you know, I got to say this. TikTok, I'm looking at y'all. I'm so confused because y'all deleted our video. Yes. Um, And I'm going to tell the truth. They said it was because we were promoting the violence on a minor, even though they were just laying on top of each other. You know what I'm saying? We're going to leave it at that. Um, My sister had the best thing. She said, yo, y'all was talking too much shit to single moms. And they came and got y'all. They did. They, 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 we were reported. So but we were absolutely reported. Absolutely. Because, because TikTok had to heat that. Yeah. Like, we've never been heated. So the fact that y'all heated it up to 30,000 views, that lets me know that somebody saw it and y'all intentionally pushed that. But we did, but we did, we know we got reported. And look, we don't bang on single moms. I don't care what nobody say. What we say is, like, yo, two-parent home is better. Oh, and speaking of, so you sent some stats over which i found super interesting so interesting that i was like mike clearly missed some digits <laughs> so let me look it up and 
one of those things was it was talking about the median uh, salary range. Yeah. The median, you know, just income of um, single, single parent, parent home, households yeah. and two parent households. Yep. And then just a black woman. And then, you know, what threw me off was the median income for single mom, single black women with children was zero. Yeah. Well, um, wealth. Well, well, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And yeah. that just threw me off so yeah. bad. So much so that I looked it up and I'm like, it's no way. Yeah. It's no way that that's maybe he meant to put something. And then like, he's so bad. And I don't even know if I should even say this. But you know what? I could blame it on my wife, Puerto Rican. They got fifty dollars. <laughs> I was like, God dang, dude. The key to wealth in this country is two parent home, right? It, like it, it is marriage. It is two parent home. And as we elevate ourselves, as one of the things that I do love about our audience is that we we do have a thinking audience. Like mm -hmm. anytime I like I, I anybody comment something and I go and like look at their profile, it's never no fuck boy or fuck girl shit. Like yeah. it's always positive, right? Fact. So it's like. We we do have to separate ourselves from the idiots mm. and then build our community up. And by proxy, at some point, it'll elevate them. But us trying to tell them what to do, it's just it's not going to work. Bro, I was looking at the comments because, I mean. It's not going to work. Mike don't really like social media. I'm here to let y'all know that. I really don't. And I'm on TikTok tearing y'all heads <laughs> off. And I got women telling me, you know what I'm saying, are you trying to say two-parent households? went and had this girl fight and I'm, I'm like no that's not what I said but and you know one thing and we're gonna get to it later but one thing that scared me was I was um one of our followers said something to a young lady they said yo the statistics says the statistics are what they are yes and she said I don't care about the stats I'm here to talk about what I see of course and I comment and I said that is the scariest shit I've ever read on the internet but that's that's how a lot of people live their lives. Absolutely. Like, it's, it's what they feel. Like, forget the numbers. And I get it. Like, everybody isn't. Like, I, if I look at my environment, you know, there's yeah. nothing but positive, you know, positive black men and positive dad. Mm -hmm. Like, hell, even my half of us are married, half of us are divorced in, like, my male sphere, right? Yeah. But all of us are active dads, right? So, Absolutely. from my point of view, I could say, well, this is all black men, right? Mm -hmm. But I, but when I first started, I was like, yeah, I don't think that's the case because I hear so much complaining, right? Yeah. Because remember, we, when we when we first started talking about these things, we came here to be like, yo, we're gonna set our brothers straight. Yeah. And we started getting the numbers, and then we were just like, wait a uh, second, damn, <laughs> it ain't it ain't really the men. What it is, it's a small subset of men. I give you, and I'll give you the numbers real briefly. Uh, fifty-two percent of black men do not have children, so that's forty-eight percent. If you just say half of those black men have children. 85% of the men that have children have them all with one woman, right? Mm. So only 15% of those black men have two or more baby daddies. Mm -hmm. If you was to subtract the black men that married their second baby, or well, first or second baby mama, right, and you just left the men that had two or more baby mamas, what you would find out is that only 8% of men have two or more baby mamas and never been married to anybody. Mm. You cut that across the whole of all black men. That's four. That's four out of every one hundred men, right? Mm. So if you walk into a room of ten men, the mm -hmm. chances of a man having two or more baby mamas and not being married to anybody is actually low. Yeah, it's closer to zero than one. And then, but the thing is, you get online, you start seeing stuff, and it's y'all niggas ain't shit. No, and, and it is right. <laughs> and, 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 and another good example of that is I follow this pod out of the UK. Um, this brother. And I, I think I think he is a decent dude now. I actually follow his pod. Mm -hmm. But he's always pandering, right? And then, and if you look <laughs> at his situation, when he talks about co-parenting with his children's mothers, this dude is never been married to either one of the children's mother, mm -hmm. has a 16-year-old and a, like an 11, 12-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. So this dude is out here telling men how they should be better fathers, and he's created two broken homes. Mm. Like So it's like that's the shit that goes on in the social media, which is why I don't really like being on social media because it, it does annoy me. Facts. I, I love y'all on social media. Now, I don't have time because my kid is, that boy is, bro. <laughs> he was screaming last night, and I love my wife. She turned on the the back, the white noise. She turned that thing up so loud, <laughs> and he was screaming. It's like he heard it, the volume go up, and was like, oh, hell I'm going no. I'm, 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 I'm to amplify it. Absolutely. Hey, All right. Kids are wild. Shout out to the white brother, Bill. This is about to get interesting. Uh, I love when white people start talking about black issues. Chicago. Huh. Like, most of the the shootings are young black men killing other young black men. Is that not correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Much more than, than what the cops do. Here you go. Why doesn't anybody talk about that? Well, I mean, uh, why aren't there, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
a hundred giant black celebrities who would have the respect. A hundred black what? what celebrities? Are you doing mm. to yourself? Why are you killing each other? And it ain't clapping. This I mean, is I no way to live. This dishonors our community. Come you tell on. me when you want me to stop. Uh, we're better than this. This shit like right. three minutes. Yeah, you can, you can stop. I feel like <laughs> it's never addressed. Stop. Well, I want this, this nigga and to what I would uh, want to observe is that any structural move that you want to make requires a majority of the people to get behind it. All right. requires Glenn La- Lowry. politics to get the Glenn it. show. Yo, let me say it like this. Boomers are ass, bro. They're, they're absolutely the worst generation. I know we argue <laughs> about generations all the time. I tell my uncles and aunts this all the time. They're absolutely the worst generation. Y'all, y'all housing prices went up. College prices went up. Um, <laughs> y'all was free. Um, you went through this women empowerment movement that created 80% of women filing for divorce. It's like, they are absolutely the worst Freaking Bro. generation. Trash. Um, sorry, mom. Y'all probably. Yeah, listen. yeah. Sorry, and grandma. <laughs> like, sorry, but y'all y'all gotta know. Y'all gotta know. And then y'all didn't teach y'all kids how to cook. We're not y'all, some of you, most of y'all know how to cook. But you didn't tell them to teach their daughters that's in my generation how to cook. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, so it goes, Where do we start with this? All right, so it goes back to the pod. that We, we did this pod. This is probably at least 10 pods ago, right? Okay. But it was like athletes and entertainers are not spokespeople mm-hmm. for black for the yes. black community, It's like right? three or four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we went through that, right? And th- this is an extension of, you know, Malcolm X conversation, you know, back in the day. Mm. So Bill Maher is gone, right? And he, he has a point. Like, okay. He does have a point. Kids are killing each other in Chicago. We should cut that out, right? But his solution to that is, well, shit, why don't you throw LeBron up there and let him talk to him and see if that stops the violence? No other community None. deals with this. No other community is it like, yo, let's throw the trumpet player, let's throw the ball player to the community and see if we can get these animals back in line. It is so disrespectful. And I saw, I, I stopped watching Bill Maher a, a, a while ago. And I tell you all the time that, that liberal uh, – Liberal whites, when they get older, they, they become conservatives. I've, I've been <laughs> said that. You saw it with Keith Oldman when it came to Angel Reese. You've seen it with Bill Maher. Bill Maher's been that way for the last five years. And I don't. I, it's like they get the AARP card, and then they just be like, oh, shit, I am not a liberal white anymore. <laughs> so him coming on saying like, oh, why don't you get 100 entertainers and go up there and get the kids to do what you need them to do? Well, how about this? How about... How about how about let's go? We create better schools. How about we put trade schools mm-hmm. in these areas and give these kids an opportunity to do something else outside of selling drugs? Because I promise you, most of the kids on the street corner is not are not making forty dollars an hour. They not right. So so if you but if you put a welding school up there, right? Those kids will, will come out of welding school making twenty eight dollars an hour after they finish their apprenticeship, mm-hmm. and then in four or five years they'll be making. 50, 60, 70 dollars an hour as a journeyman. But we don't do that, right? What we do is we sit here and we blame them mm-hmm. for the for the environments that we've put them in. And then we may, and then we do some condescending shit like, why don't a hundred celebrities? Yo, my, it infuriates me, bro. Bro, my biggest issue with Bill Maher is in this whole conversation was when have y'all ever cared? Or went and, and tried to do some research on what the hell y'all talk about. Um, they don't because black people do not matter to the United States of America. Until it's election time. That's it. We every every, every, every single time our, our community have been divided up. It, it's been divided so much to a point that someone like myself that does believe in unity and does believe in unifying is saying like, yeah, we just got to separate. Look, and so like. Mike knows. Me and Mike always have this conversation about generations. We always have arguments about music. And to me, that's important because, yo, these these kids are killing each other in Chicago before they, you know, their parents are not around for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, they're in gang fights that they don't know where started and they protecting themselves. You know what I'm saying? These kids ain't going to school, but the, also the police don't care. No, they don't care. As long as you keep that violence there and you don't bring that shit north, they don't give a damn. So my thing is, Bill Maher, why don't you go to the 600 block of Chicago? Go to those neighborhoods and go talk to those kids. How about he go to his congressman and say, hey, how are these kids getting so many goddamn guns in Chicago? I can't even buy Cubans in this fucking country. 
You can't. Right? So you tell me that these kids got access to fucking handguns? Look. With, with switches? I about to say, they I, got switches. I can't even buy, like, if I want to buy a Cuban right now, I can't find it in the United States at all, right? Nah. Cubans are way less dangerous than Glocks with switches. Look. Right? So, you know, so, so, so why we sit here and pretend that they are the problem? They're not the problem. The system is the problem. I can't buy a Nejo fucking tequila in this country. Mexico is right there. We get more Coke from Mexico than we get a <laughs> Nejo tequila, Look. right? So we know we can stop shit from coming and stop violence from happening if we want to. And and that's my biggest issue with boomers. And I wish them giving us an apology won't even matter, bro. Some one No, day, a change has to come, it bro. It does have to come. But they got like they never sat down and said, yo, how did we get here? How did y'all get here? We know we got the drugs in there. We know we're giving y'all the guns, but how do we get here? Because look, there is, and I oh my gosh, I wish I could look it up. Look up, you can look up Chirac and it's like Ecology or whatever, and it shows every rapper and like all them young boys who have bodies and bodies and bodies. Dude, and you've realized how like, do they get guns when most bro, of the time after they shoot, they getting rid of the gun. So where do new guns come from, bro? You they just walking into the gun shop, I guess, bro. And the thing with their colors on, you can't even get guns in fuck Chicago. Out of here. That's the funnier part. Yeah, fuck out of here. But man. we know what's up. And then I ain't even gonna get on you, Glenn. You sitting over there beside, you know, of course, because, because claps. And you just letting the shit rock because we don't we don't get we don't get Nelson Mandela Mandela when he's married to Winnie. We get Nelson Mandela when he's neutered and he's not married to Winnie, right? Mm. We don't get a ninety five year old Patrice. We don't get a ninety five year old Doctor Newton, a ninety five year old Doctor King, a ninety five year old Malcolm X. We're in the situation that we're in because all of our male leadership have been castigated, Absolutely. you know, from our freaking community. So now we got we we have. We have a community that was under the influence of everything that happened from the Sex and Wage Act of 1963 to the Title IX Act of 19 of 1973, right? Everything that occurred during that time frame, that's what raised us. And none of those policies were for us. Not a one. The Sex and Wage Initiative was not for black people. Title IX was not for black people. Facts. Um, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get out of here because this is above my gangster pay grade. Y'all, y'all probably need to go talk to Larry Hoover and figure out what happened up there in Chicago. He got a lot to do with it, and it's a lot of them bo- young boys who is in, who are in these gangs who always say, "Look, our uncles, our dads, our grandfathers was under him, and when they put that man in jail, it just got wild because there was no structure into these gangs." Well, it's, it's but in, y'all don't want to do that. Y'all send Drake and Kanye out look, there, exactly. And them niggas don't even like each other. No what more. we do know <laughs> is recruit numbers are down in the military, so you need, so you do need to have. Uh, uneducated, uh, fatherless populace mm. in order to, to get those numbers up in the next 10 to 20 years. We do know that crime numbers are actually going down majorly, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, they, they're going to post everything about Chicago and in, in whatever inner, inner city something is popping off. But overall, crime is going down, and that's bad for business. It's bad for law. Mm. It's bad for courts. It's bad for prisons. Mm. Bad for re-election. Um, you want to hop onto the NBA right quick? Yeah, we can hop into that. What's up with uh? It looked like y'all won last night. Yeah, man, Heat Heat doing what the Heat do. What y'all gonna do? Who y'all play next? The Celtics? Knicks, I think. The Knicks? Yeah. The Knicks. I'm super surprised, bro. I hate the Knicks, by the way. I just think like they're one of those franchises who should have everything going for them. They should be where the Lakers are at. They should be where the Celtics are at. Just with the media, just with um, you know, the amount of money. And everything, and they are just clownish. It's, but, co- it's coaches, dude. You got You got yeah. You got to have. Yeah, you got to have good coaches. And, and so, the Knicks haven't had that. And so I, what so, they did, they had Van Gundy, but then they got rid of him. And that, yeah. that's what stupid people do, right? Like he, going to the playoffs every year. Well, that's not enough. Nah. Well, what you doing now? We well, didn't play off now, but Look, how long has been? Yeah. And so y'all playing them. Shout out to Kevin Durant. I'm only where he's at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's how I do my my stuff now. Um. Look, we're going to play the Nuggets. I don't know. I just don't know. Joker can't guard nobody, but uh. they can't stop him because I don't know. DeAndre Ayton is uh, – and I'm I'm going to trade carefully because – I'm, I'm pulling for Phoenix, man. I, I, like, I do think like, Denver has looked good, but Joker, Joker is a paper tiger to me. Okay. Right? And I'm not saying he can't play, but what I'm saying is like he is being overhyped and overrated, right? Mm. It's, like, it's like when – 
like when Ice Spice first dropped, and they were like, yo, Shout out to her, she should not be as hot as what she is, yeah. right? So, so it does kind of give like industry plant vibes just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but that that in my what in my mood, yeah, uh, that, that shit's a bop. Yeah, right? the birds like that. Yeah, so it's like, you know, <laughs> so it's not saying that she's not good. It just said that like, yo, the hype, the hype of what you had, like Ice Spice should not have Nicki Minaj hype. She shouldn't, but we know what that is. And yeah. it's in her mood. In Mike. her mood. In her, I, I, obviously, I don't know. I just know it's a bop. I just know when I was in Atlanta, that shit came on. All them girls that was in college was, they could have <laughs> ran that shit back five times. Them girls was ready. I was just like, yo, I'm too old. Um, But yeah, I'm super interested in um the playoffs, how it's going to play off, play out. Um, My favorite series got to be the Sacramento and uh Golden State thing. Because they just playing so I, fast. I, I, I hate Golden State. I do. They front runners. They are more. They're the original front runners. Memphis are the front runners right now. Memphis, I hate them. But Golden State, like, uh, I, but I, but I think they're gonna beat Sacramento. Yeah, uh, I think I think, I think so. Lakers gonna close uh, Memphis out in oh, this game. Absolutely, super. You know the funnier part is Atlanta has to play who they playing right now. Uh, Boston. They are playing Boston in the Janet Jackson concert. Is the same night as the game. They did not expect them to be there. Because they did not expect them motherfuckers <laughs> to be there. So I am weak. Because, and I asked Rena, I was like, what's going to happen? Because, you know, who she worked for. And she was like, probably the concert is going to have to get moved because that is the yeah. Hawks arena. Yeah. And so I'm like, damn, I couldn't imagine because Janet Jackson is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? And you you do a lot to make sure you're ready for her concert. But I mean. And you're going to move it just to the next night? They, they, they move it to the next night. I'm just saying, uh, no matter when they move it, you know what I'm saying? Atlanta, but, Atlanta has enough venues, though, but that's still messed up. Yeah. But it, it, it is what it is. Venues. Um, Here's my new favorite segment of the show. Uh-oh. I love this segment. I hope we start to do it every week. This um, is going to come off as very, very misogynist. I can already tell. And that's fine. Um, <laughs> Women, you should avoid. Women, you should avoid. We need like a whole like little background music and noise because it's so many women out here as men. We have we, to be, we should play like the old porno music whenever we come oh to this segment. Gosh. That would be hilarious. Look, <laughs> it's certain women you should avoid, and I am here to make sure y'all know about it because it is wild out here. All right, let me read y'all this shit um, because, and I know y'all love my reading. I promise y'all I can read, but I be caught off guard. Um, shout out to Clark. I'm not even reading your uh your Twitter name because yeah, don't read. No, yeah, you didn't pay stop, us. Stop throwing people out of the bus, man. Oh well, if I'm, I love doing that. All right, so this girl, she has a hinge profile. Ladies, if you ever want us to read how your hinge dating life is doing, just DM us. I will more than glad throw anybody under the bus, especially if they local to Charlotte. Um, she said the best way to ask me out is by opening with a time and place. Let's save the small talk for dinner. Now that is hilarious. That means when you write me, you need to tell me where we going, where we going? and what time. what time. Now, so you got to be a little bit. This is the fun part about dating women, right? You got to be kind of creepy and over like aggressive, but you also got to put out some money <laughs> to like date this woman. That is the craziest part. So the dude, in being the the smart idiot his ass is, yeah, seven thirty drinks next Thursday at four five six in East uh, Williamsburg. Now. She said, I bet $100 that bar is down the street from your apartment in Williamsburg, and you didn't give any consideration to the fact that I have to drive from the east, from the west side of Manhattan. And she did the yawning emoji. My man wrote back, you win that um, $100 the first part, but I took all of that into consideration. Excuse me. I figure you probably don't come out to East Williamsburg too um, often. or Yeah, yeah. Next Thursday, it's going to be gorgeous in the bar's outdoor section. If you change your mind, he sent his number. Now, this girl is upset. Look, yeah, because she, she was like, it's going to take me $100 to Uber there. It's going to take an hour and a half on the train. Yada, 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 yada. <sighs> now, I went to her profile. She, she, how she look? She's, she's cute. Mike don't like when Forrest talk. Me and my sister <laughs> had a whole dinner about you and Forrest. I got to hear this after the pod. Oh, she's straight? No, no, no I got to, I got to hear what y'all, the hell y'all said about me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we had a whole dinner discussion about Mike and Forrest. Hey, but she she I mean she's cute. She she can clean up well. I mean, like I would yeah. I would I would give her a solid seven uh, on a scale of one to ten. I wasn't gonna go that high. Yeah, adjustable six, but I mean like she got a natural hair. Hair is long. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I love natural women. You like, do least makeup with hair. Oh, she got good eyebrows. You yeah, can get yeah. it. So I so I I did I did like her. Now, here's the here's the thing though, right? All, All right. right. So on this, 
She's mad because she's coming to his side of town, right? Facts. All right. As a guy, I, first of all, I don't know how she even figured out that was his side of town. So I think he messed up somewhere. Like he, he he has in his profile, like I live in Williamsburg. Whatever it is, right? That was his mistake. Yeah. Um, but I don't really blame him for picking a spot that he's comfortable with. Now, the creepy part is it is like, you know, around the corner from his house. Fellas, stop trying to get women drunk so you can get them back home. Like with that era of dating is over. Now she did call that part out and kudos to her because that's exactly what was gonna happen, sis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, 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 dude, that that era of dating is like, do not try to get a woman close to your house so she can get drunk and you can bring her back to the house. Oh, come back over here. You and charge are your you, phone. you are going to have to raise your game up a little bit, man. That was my line back in the day. What? Oh, come upstairs. You could charge your phone. Yeah, I mean college, but once you get past college, that's that's that era is over. <laughs> Facts. That era is over. Y'all gotta understand. I've been dating my girl for the last decade, so. So, well, with that being said, though, uh, I don't have a problem with, with him going to a moderate bar, right? Like you don't got. I'm not taking you out to somewhere to drop twenty five dollars a glass because it's nice. You know, the other part is he. How many times have we seen people lie about where they live at? Like, it's not uncommon, and I know New York is different from here. It's not uncommon for somebody to say, hey, I live in Charlotte, and I actually live in Gastonia. Yeah. Which it, which is 30 minutes away. Or university, right? Or and it's exactly. Like, and but, it's but, like, and I don't the, know that about yeah. you. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? If, using Charlotte as an example, right? Like, if I if I live in Pineville and she lives in university, yeah. then, you know, like. It's going to be an hour. It should be. It sh- you should do something like, yo, well, let's meet uptown, right? Which Facts. is in the middle. So he. She's not wrong for denying the dude, but her entitlement is through the roof. Like, we literally have two things wrong at the same time. And let me tell y'all the problem I'm looking. Because she's doing too much. So she's posting how it'll take her almost an hour to get there, right? In one of her routes, mind you, this is all because she has to take one, two, three, four, four trains to get to where they're going. That's why it's going to take 50 minutes. Also in that 50 50 minutes, 20 minutes of that is walking to the trains. Yeah, I mean, I'm on I'm on a Twitter profile. Oh yeah, I'm on Twitter she, too. She, she, she ain't, she, ain't, she, ain't, she ain't bad. Her hair looking. pretty. She ain't bad, but 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 she like look, it is out of control out here right now. It is out of control. It is out of control sis, right now. This is what what you expect. You tell a man, tell me what time and tell me where you taking me. Yeah. I'm so glad I ain't dating out here. I would do whatever it takes to keep my. I, wife I'm so I'm so ready I'm to get not, remarried, bro. I'm not. This shit is trash. I would never. This shit is trash. But he he's lame and she's lame. She's How lame. Is he lame? Because real talk, dude. If you knew she stayed, it, if you knew she oh, stayed you there, it. you could have picked halfway. Oh well, you look, could have picked halfway. All right, Mike. Don't know what we about to talk about, but this is also women you should avoid. I love these, t- bro. I'm good at this shit, man. I but you know, on the first one, I I, it's not even really so avoid. She just over entitled. Right? I do That's keep my word. How do I? If I didn't keep my word, why? If I didn't keep my word, how would I keep it? Don't have it. Just say you don't have it. I absolutely have it. Actually. Tell me and have me expect maybe, okay? I don't have it love. I'm going to put some cute for her. She might like it. Okay. No, you, you have to come over here expecting we're going somewhere. We're mm. not actually going. Where y'all going? I don't like that. I don't. I can have to do more for me than what you want to be. No. Ooh. Well, come guess on. what? Guess what? No, You're with I, me right I'm, now, okay? I'm with you right now. Yes, exactly. we are on a date right exactly. now. Exactly. They didn't make the cut, right and now, I did. Right? They must have not did. I like her baby hairs. I never, I didn't lie to you about anything. Hey, you see she got her fork in her hand. Mm-hmm. She arguing. She got that fork now. All right, so a woman and a guy are arguing in his apartment because he they, told her he was going to take her out. He said he was going to take her out. They had already talked about going to Capitol Grill. One day is what the conversation. She assumed it was that night. Um, <laughs> and instead, they went to his house, and they are eating uh, steak, mashed, some dry-ass mashed potatoes, some overcooked broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. And you, the steak is well done. I can tell by the edges. Yeah. And uh But y'all eat well done steaks. Yeah, y'all do. Y'all <laughs> disgusting. If you're gonna be a you know, if you're gonna eat meat, which is cool, I'm not a vegetarian. At least let the shit be medium. Yeah, and then medium. my favorite, here's my favorite, Mike. This bitch got Kool-Aid and a wine glass. Yeah, Both of their ass. And that's why I thought it was a skit. I, I think it's a skit. So me and Laws I had that conversation skit. off. We think this is a skit. Now this goes to the content over everything logic. Now, I'm not mad at, I'm, I'm, the way it was going was skittish. Let me tell you the women you need to avoid. The women who are in the comments okaying this shit and backing up this shit. Oh, yeah. If anybody think they deserve Capital Grill because that's where they want to go, like, nah, we're good. Yo, on that. a lot of you women, a we're lot of women, excuse me, let me clean that up. Oof. Let me clean that up. 
Hold on. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Y'all almost got me. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to get me. A lot of women do not deserve $300 dates on a second date. I don't, I mean, dude, th- this is the thing, though. It ain't even about deserve. Like, because if you, I don't give, I don't give, I don't care what happens, right? Facts. If you're overspending to celebrate, you shouldn't be, right? Facts. The, the celebration should be whatever the accomplishment is. Mm. Not us overspending to do something. So if I go to Capitol Grill because this is where I go, I remember um back when I had money, IRS, mm. if you're listening, right? Facts. Facts. <laughs> when I, you know, I was, I was, I was in DC. All right. Okay. I was standing at a hotel and, and okay. the bottom of that hotel had a really, really nice restaurant, right? Okay. Uh, a chick that I really, really like, you know, wanted to try to get at. Was at she the cute? Time. Sorry. Oh, she was real cute. She was real cute. I, I want to know. Details. Real cute. <laughs> and like, she was in town. She so, just so happened to be in DC, right? Mm-hmm. So my, so what I told her was, I was not even trying to impress her. I, I was just like, "Yo, I'm about to go grab something to eat at X Y Z. Meet me there, right?" Okay. And then she came there, and then she saw where I was staying, what I was eating. You know, I did order like you know a bottle of wine or whatever, right? Okay. And then like her interest went up, and I was just like, "Ew!" Like I didn't even mean to do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was literally just, I'm staying here. Yeah. I'm just eating downstairs, but like now you're more interested, like. Ah, uh, like Yo, that's that's disgusting to me. I used to love when I worked at the Ritz and girls thought I had money and they didn't know I had a hotel <laughs> discount. It showed me the birds super early in my life. Like, cause look, I used to travel. Mike used to be with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Luckily we had Mike who had reward points. And then once I figured out the hotel discount shit, you know what I'm saying? We used to be at the Ritz. Staying on thirty dollar nights, but they ain't know that. Look, yeah, they ain't know that. <laughs> that shit was great. I need to go back. Yeah, but it's it's something about that, and it's just like yo. Other reason why I figured this was a skit, yo, you can't wear that at the Capitol Grill. Sorry, nah. certain things you can't wear to the restaurant. But 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 the thing was, now I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this though, right? If <laughs> if you if you make a woman think that you're about to take her somewhere nice and you cook dinner at home, mm-hmm. it, it it's giving it's giving creepy vibe. And you record it. It's giving creepy vibes. Like, I'm not, so like real talk, like any 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 dudes uh, that's that's like trying to like get women drunk, or any dudes that's trying to you know trick a woman to coming back to their place. Yeah, bro, like bro, that's that, those are the college years, right? Yeah, the college years is when we all get drunk at somebody's place, and then you be like, oh, you know, I stay upstairs, right? Yeah, that's college, man. Like once you get past college, dude, be be who you are. Be able to get a woman to wherever you want her to be off of your own merit. Now, when you don't do it, when you when you get a woman to be where you want her to be off of your money, your car, what I could do for Sam. you. All right, yes, there you go. You're a simp. <laughs> You're a simp. But if you but if you solid, man, just be like, hey, hey, after we eat dinner, you want to go back to my place? Like, bro, what's she going to say? No. Yeah, yes. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's going to say yes or no. Like, you know, if, if, I, if I was to take a woman out and, I, and she was and I, to, let's say, Capitol Grill, right? Okay. Yeah, if I'm like, yo, we're going to Capitol Grill. Like, hey, okay. do you do you want to hang out afterwards? And she say no. What well, I'm gonna be like? Well, I ain't take you to Capitol Grill then. Like for real, bro. That like that's how y'all rolling out here. And you know the funny part is, I've learned by taking pictures of so many women. They already know if they gonna smash you before they. They get already there. know. That's so. That's what I'm saying. Like dudes, like real talk. Men do have to understand that if you want to get laid by women, you do have to be nice to them. That is not an unfair <laughs> ask of it's women, <laughs> right? And keep your word. Do what you gonna yeah, do. Yeah, keep your word. Be, be nice. consistent. Like that is not unfair for women to expect this out of men that they're already attracted to. This is the thing. Most of the time, if a woman wants to go out with you, she is already attracted to you unless she's using you. Facts, right? <laughs> but if she's not using you, she's already attracted to you. Only you can screw this up from this point forward. I'm trying to think. Where's the nicest place I ever took my wife out to eat? I don't know. I don't know. So I, she I, didn't, I, cause she didn't I, took me to Capitol Grill. We going to Brooklyn Chop House, uh, Chop House uh, this weekend. You take her, or she take you. It's, she gotta be taking me. It's my birthday. Yeah. She told me to bring my wallet though. She said bring your wallet. Yeah, man. No, no, not for my birthday. Look, man, it don't count. <laughs> you already know who paying for that. I'm trying to find that booth where y'all was fucking at at Brooklyn Chop House. You seen that video? No, I didn't. It see was that a one. couple because you know they had the curtains in there. Yeah, a couple closed the curtain and they had sex right by their food in the booth, and then they put it on Snapchat. Of what were they married? Are they only fans? I, I don't know. I, I ain't know. really mad at that. I, look, look, for I can't really. All Saints fast forward real quick. <laughs> I, I can't I can't really be mad at public sex. Like that's all I got. I I can't I can't shame it. I can't shame Yo, it. I'm guilty. There should be like designated places <laughs> where people can't have public sex. Cause I don't want to see it. 
You know what I'm saying? I always thought about that. I'm like, yo, what if I seen like, you know, you be watching the porns and they be like in the park, which I think is illegal, but that's not a. I mean, I'm pretty sure all public oh, well, sex, all public is, sex is, is illegal. Damn near illegal. But I'm like, yo, what if I was walking past right here? What if I had a photo shoot and y'all was just over there? Look, if I don't have my kid, I'm 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 kind of cool with it, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm to the extreme. If I don't have my kid, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm to the extreme of like what. What I can tolerate, so yeah, and I'm then also like I'm leaving it on the people that's having sex. To, but back to this Brooklyn shop house, so, the, so these booths are so big and they got curtains that you can get it. Yeah, in. you can get it in. So you can close your curtain while you. I eat. told Karina we need to get a booth, dude. If they got a curtain <laughs> that you can close, I think they expect you to get Absolutely. some back there, something. <laughs> and I, I did feel bad because my man's the the man who's over it, you know, who created it, he had to issue a statement, and I was like, damn. But you know, it's cool. I'm. If I'm 99% Stop sure. posting everything on social media because you're going to screw it up for everybody else. I That's didn't even it. know this place existed. Yeah, give me, Give me a time to get to Brooklyn Chop House. Look, I'll let you know this weekend. I'm going to see. Hopefully, Cardi <laughs> be in there. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe, I hope to meet you. Joe Button, I'm coming, bro. None of these people know I'm coming. Anyway, yo, what you doing this weekend? I already told you what I'm doing. I don't know, but uh, hey, one of my friends knew that I'm a big LMA fan, so she actually bought me a ticket to go see LMA on Tuesday. Okay. LMA was wonderful, man. Like, really? That is my wifey, bro. She wasn't doing all that talking, was she? Not as much. Good. Dude, LMA, she's like, that's like the quintessential <laughs> woman. Just she beautiful voice. I, how does beautiful she look woman. in person? She looks good. She looks good on she TV. Looks, so she looks, she looks good, man. It's it's amazing all the time when you see celebrities in person and they're just beautiful. Yeah. And it throws you off. L- LMA is fine, um, fine. I remember uh, I was working one day and a woman was chasing her kid. And I look up because I didn't want to run over the kid. And I look up and it was Mariah Carey. <laughs> and I remember looking at her and she's looking at me like, it's just me. And I'm looking at Mariah Carey like, you are stunning. She had, and it goes back to me and your conversation about when women just have on a ball cap. And yeah. Going with it. And she had a baseball cap on, bruh, super low. She had her makeup done. Yeah. But it's it just like, I just saw her and I was like, dog, you fine. No security or nothing. She just chasing her kids in the hallway. And the only thing that caught me off guard was not that I just saw Mariah Carey, who was an icon. I just, like, Mariah Carey looks good. And, you know, it threw me off. I remember my sister met Brandy, and my sister was like, yo, Brandy had on no makeup, and she was just gorgeous, just skinnish. Dude, she, I, I, lo- I mean, look, I, lo- I love beautiful women, which goes back to the first part of the pod where y'all dudes like, yeah, beautiful women, I'm, I'm on my purpose. Like, fuck out of here. Look, man, they, they got a purpose. purpose, man. They meditate. But you know what, though? Real talk, if y'all don't know what to do with beautiful women, just, yes, leave those women alone so their husbands can find them. Absolutely, because y'all can't afford them. Um, Look, I want to thank y'all for listening. Shout out to everybody that made it this far. Ezra said we got to end these podcasts under a minute. and we uh, <laughs> Under an hour. Under an hour. And we got, uh, yeah, under. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. We got like one minute left. Anyway, I want to thank y'all. We're going to holler at y'all next time. How did your boy? <laughs>